Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use master page sets in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. A master page set is a group of master pages that a layout can use. When you start a new project in Dorico, master page sets are automatically created with first and default master pages, and Dorico will assign the first master page to the first page in each flow, and the default master page to all other pages. A project can have any number of master page sets, which is how you manage, for example, the different layout configurations for full scores and instrumental parts. A layout can only use master pages from one master page set, though you are able to change which set each layout uses via this pop up button. Among the differences you'll notice by changing the master page set from default full score to default part is this additional text frame right at the top of the first master page here for displaying the layout name. I'll set this back to using the default full score set and then use the layout selector on the toolbar to switch to the violin part and double click the first master page to open it in the master page editor. By way of example, I'm just going to make a couple of changes here so that all of the text in the frames at the top of the page is centered. Then I'll close the master page editor. Now, switching to the other part layouts, all of which use the same default part master page set, shows that those modifications are carried through all of the instrumental parts. However, switching back to the full score, which uses the default full score master page set, is totally unaffected by those changes. At the bottom of the Pages and Master Pages panel in Engrave mode, you'll find the Master Page Sets section that allows you to manage your sets. Opening the section reveals the list of sets available in this project. With an existing set selected, you can press this button to create a new master page set based on the existing one, and you can rename it to something more helpful if you like. Now I can select this new set in the master pages section and make some changes to the master pages themselves. I'm able to switch freely between the sets, or I can create new layouts that specifically use the new set. This could be useful if you were preparing a conductor score and a separate study score, for instance. If you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.